Hi everybody, welcome to this general playthrough for Pro and Expert Division for the Winter Major here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video if you don't mind, it helps me out a lot and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Totally free to do so. Uh, Timestamps in the video description down below, we're looking at the Winter Major of course, Maple Bay and Drummore Links with the new hole locations. So uh, some general approaches here. Remember to tweak according to your club's balls and play style. Here we go. On this par four with a good amount of tailwind, we can go aggressive. So I'm gonna go with the Berserker here, uh, setting up with my APOC five and above, half of the blue ring inside the rough on the left with APOC five and six. Uh, 5.8 top spin and two right spin, APOC four, uh, you would have, of course, uh, only 20% of the blue ring overlapping with the uh, fairway, so 80% of it will be inside the rough. You'd be at P5 max rest. Now, if you don't have the apocalypse, you could actually have a go with the extra mile uh, level 9 here, maybe extra mile 8 if you've got enough tailwind. Adjusting max plus 10 P5, uh, leaving it where it is, and we're going full overpower with a slow needle. Another driver which might be good for this type of play would be the Thor's Hammer. Uh, second bounce into the rough and rolling out for a very easy wedge. And this par five here, we're going to need accuracy off the tee with this narrow fairway. So we're looking at the rock and I'm going with four top spin and one bar of left spin. Uh, white ring touching the rough on the uh, left at uh, P3 max rest with the rock level eight, you will be at top of plus 15 with rock level nine. Of course, if you don't have the rock in that high level, you can play with a different driver that gives you the distance required. Obviously you would uh, still need to hit perfect though because you would have less accuracy. Max plus 10 is the adjustment for me uh, here and the same regardless of what club you're using, you should use max plus 10. Center the ball and hit perfect. And this is a layup down the middle of the fairway we don't want to threaten the rough either side. We don't want to be too close to those signs because if you get too close to the edge of the fairway, they will be in your way. So second shot, we're looking at our your turn plus yards. So the plus yards displayed when it is your turn. You could see that was plus one for me with sniper 10. That would be plus three with a sniper level nine. Adding there three top spin and one left spin. I have a good look at this one. I'm leaving the ball guide one green square short of the pin deliberately because there is some tailwind which is going to push us that little bit extra than what's shown on the ball guide. So for the plus one, your turn yards, I'm going to play this one 30% on the slider, 10% elevation. We're going to use sniper 10 numbers regardless of your club level. This one is a very, very close attempt at the albatross. Maybe a certain tweak needed, a small tweak in this wind angle gives you a general idea on how you want to play this hole aggressively in the rough very nicely just needed to tweak the spins slightly we're coming in maybe just one click short so a click of extra top spin on this par three any headwind angle i'm aiming at the p3 min line with the sniper red ring touching the rough then i'm adding my spin i'm going with two bars of backspin here deliberately offsetting that ball guide because of the wind angle that i've got here one to one adjustment here, so 8.1 rings, going to play 8.1. So 8.1 wind, 8.1 rings. Any tailwind, you can either go Goliath at P3 max rest, or you can back up a little bit and play with the Grizzly for more accuracy as long as you can clear. And of course, there are aggressive rough bump options available above the bunker as well if you're feeling brave. But other than that, good chance with the bounce over. Uh, clearing the rough nicely and tracking beautifully for the hole in one. You've still got a very good chance of an albatross with a new pin position on this par five. We're going with the rock for the accuracy and the curl. And I'm going with three bars of right spin and three bars of top spin. Blue ring touching the rough on the right at the top of plus two with the rock level eight. Top of plus one with the rock level nine. Obviously, if you don't have the rock, you can go with the quarterback. Uh, you will be at a higher plus yards there, but you can still make this shot. You don't need an apocalypse really in this wind angle. One to one adjust, so 8.4 rings for an 8.4 wind. And then I'm going here with one and three quarter ball curl to the right, just before the circle drops as overpower reference. 
and hitting perfect. Don't need to use a precision ball, just something I was using to uh, speed up the content creation here. Approaching the end of the fairway, not threatening those signs. Second shot, minimal spin required here. I'm actually just using one bar of right spin because there is a little small area there where if you're not careful, the ball guide will kick uh, slightly to the side of the cup. So just getting around that with one bar of right spin and just move left and right, make sure you've got a nice smooth uh, position to aim for there. You can see it just flickers even there. So if you can avoid that, that would be good. Ball guide one green square short of the hole, aiming at the hole though. And we're using landing position plus yards for our adjustment. Plus three with sniper 10 will be plus five with sniper nine in both those cases. The adjustment here is 77% on the slider, 5% elevation. It is two and a half percent per yard with wood clubs. Uh, more information on landing position, references, fringe checks using the slider and all of that helps you drop more shots. Loads of tutorials on the channel uh, there. Just look at the Academy tutorial playlist on the channel home page. Tracking nicely for the Albatross. If you like the free content here on the channel and want to support us, you can do so on Patreon. Uh, lots of different membership tiers there provided according to the support you wish to give. They all give you the same perks, and that is exclusive content, uh, general elevation shootout sheets for tour play and checkpoint challenges, and early access to content on the channel as well. And also, if you've got any questions about the game or want to know how to improve, you can shoot me a direct message as well. All the support there is greatly appreciated and helps keep the content here on the channel free. Thank you very much. We're going to set up with the quarterback here, clear ring touching the rough on the left, sorry, on the right at P3 max rest. Then we're switching to APOC because we have some headwind to deal with here. Going to add spin next. We're going here uh, with two bars of right spin and I'm using four and a half top spin. I could probably use a little bit less top spin though because with this wind angle, I'm playing on the min line with the approach shot with my Grizzly. In Tailwind, you can actually stay with the quarterback and then you'll be getting more distance and you can play the second shot with the thorn. But any headwind here, uh, I'm always going to be playing down the right hand side, to be honest. But headwind, you're going to end up with the Grizzly on approach. Max plus 10 is the adjustment here. Uh, taking our shot, going to clear the rough really nicely. And there is a slope, a down slope here. So you don't want to get too giddy with the top spin. If I was to be dialing in this hole any further, I'd have reduced a couple of clicks. Because you can see there, with the second shot, I'm right at the minimum distance line with the Grizzly, and we don't want to be in between clubs. Um, but this one is okay. We have a good look at this one here, going with a half a bar of top spin. Now, I'm offsetting this one to the left of the hole because of the wind angle. It's going to push me to the right. I didn't offset enough, though, so if I was to do this over again... I'd move my aim further to the left. We're playing minimum distance, 10% elevation. If you were using less top spin, you could actually play rings from min here for even more accuracy without having to do a distance check. And the same with the thorn. If you're playing in tailwind, you'd have probably landing position plus yards or a rough line check so you can dial in depending what wind angle you have. Perfect ball away. And like I said, just needed to aim a little bit to the left but the speed is very nice and a good chance for an eagle. Even though the new pin location here is further to the right, I'm actually going to play in the kind of the old spot here, bouncing over. Blue ring touching the rough on the right, top of um, plus one with the Grizzly level nine, which would be plus four with Grizzly seven and eight. And I'm going here uh, with two backspin and half a bar, of right spin. Looks like we're going to miss left, but the uh, second bounce is quite prominent here. It's in the air a lot, the ball, so the wind angle is going to push us towards the pin. Mid plus 25, power 4 numbers. Now you'll see here when I make my adjustment, I'm adjusting to a higher point. That is going to cause me to gain distance on my shot, and the tailwind is going to push me further as well. To counteract that, I go with some intentional underpower, and it is going to be just before the circle breaks. That kind of corrects the extra distance that we're going to get on this shot. And we hit perfect, bouncing very nicely away from the rough onto the green. And there you can see just a minor tweak needed, but a nice speed to attack the pin. 
We're going to play on the right-hand side. The left-hand side is still an option, but you've got more distance to cover with the rough bump. But in this nasty angle here, going with the QB to set up, red ring touching the rough at the top of plus 10, then switching to APOC, because I've got room to adjust there. Or, of course, if you've got the extra mile instead of APOC, then you'll be using extra mile 8 instead. Uh, plenty of top spin and also some side spin to get around the bunkers here. Max plus 10 is the adjustment that we're going to make. And we're going to, even in this nasty headwind angle, have a very good chance with the thorn as our second shot. Making our adjustment, then I'm going to go with a little bit of overpower just to ensure that I clear the rough on the first bounce and also the bunker on the second bounce. So circle break overpower, really steady needle though because we're not at max distance of our club. Bouncing on the fairway, clearing nicely and rolling down the fairway, avoiding the sand traps there. Drive distance here is around 330 yards. Now, usually we don't play Thorn from this side uh, way before the green because of that nasty bump, uh, but it's a little bit steadier here. You can aim further up as the pin is further away. So I did a top red ring fringe check here, just to uh, give you an idea of what my reference is going to be. Plus three. Uh, where the top of the red ring meets the fringe. Uh, we're going to play this one 88% slider, 35% elevation. Uh, just backspin here, a couple of bars of backspin. Might need to vary depending on your wind angle. Uh, this is going to be a fair amount of uh, rings, for a short iron at least. It's over six rings. But of course, you've got quite a high second bounce to deal with. And the wind will uh, have a considerable effect on this shot. So we're hitting perfect here. See how this comes in, bouncing very nicely. Just a small tweak needed, but the speed there is very nice indeed. Good chance for the eagle. Here, uh, we're going to go with an NMT shot with our sniper, and I'm going with 4.8 backspin and one bar of right spin. Aiming there with the spin added. You can see with the NMT, it's putting the ball guide just to the right of the pin, which is fine because the wind is going to do some work as well. We've got to push win, uh, rings in this wind angle because the cliff is in the way, unfortunately, with anything going right to left. One to one is the adjustment I would recommend. In the video here, I did one to one minus 0 0.1, but we're just missing this one. But gives you a good idea on how you might want to play this hole. Obviously, in tailwind, you're going to want to use the grizzly. Otherwise, you'll be in between clubs. Just missing on the left hand side. Safe eagle, you could tweak the second shot for an albatross though if you get this wind angle. Three and a half top spin with the rock and we're going to aim right down the middle of the fairway. Of course you can also play out to the right hand side with a distance and top spin driver if you wish. But in headwind conditions you're going to have to play this side most likely as well. So aiming down the middle with spin added, using the rock for the ball guide and accuracy. And the adjustment here is maximum distance. 5% elevation. Now, unless you are playing with a power 5 ball, you will need to use the big dog or the cataclysm for your second shot from the left-hand side of this hole because there's a lot of distance to cover. Hitting perfect here, minor great left, minor great right, you should be okay with the rock. You probably may not be okay with the extra mile though. 332 yards. Now, the second shot here, there's more of a chance of an albatross even playing this route with this pin location. Before spin, I'm aiming at the pin, max distance of the cataclysm, then I'm adding spin to compensate for the wind. So I go with half a bar of backspin and one bar of left spin. Unfortunately, it's not enough left spin. I miss this a good few green squares to the right, but it's just showing you an approach of how you might want to get onto the green from the left-hand side. In headwind, of course, you need to play further back with more top spin and make sure you have that second bounce beyond the rough because the headwind would compress the ball guide. Max plus 10, you can tweak it if you want to try and get the albatross, but if not, you're bouncing over. We've only used a Titan here, rolling out from the rough nicely onto the green. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash 
resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.